The Studio Piano is one of two new instruments added in Logic Pro for iPad's 2.0 update. Meticulously sampled by Apple and requiring you to download a hefty 3.5 gig sound pack, the Studio Piano is a brilliant addition to Logic Pro. In this video I'll show you how this instrument works and hear how it compares to other popular iOS piano instrument apps. Note that the Session Keyboard Track defaults to this instrument when you load it up, but you can use the Studio Piano as a standalone instrument plugin too, playing it with Logic's play surfaces, an attached MIDI controller, or adding it as an instrument to an already existing MIDI track. Once you've loaded it up, the Studio Piano offers four different piano sounds. The Studio Grand, The Concert Grand, The Vintage Upright, that's my personal favourite, and a one microphone version of the Studio Grand. All four of these pianos have their own set of controls available. The Vintage Upright, for example, allows you to select between three different microphone sliders. The Stereo Mic A slider controls the volume of a pair of condenser microphones, The Stereo Mic B slider controls the volume of a pair of ribbon microphones. And the Mono Mic slider controls the volume of a single ribbon microphone. And you can mix and match the different levels to create different sounds. Each piano has a main volume knob to the right hand side here as well. If you have all three of these microphones maxed up for example, you might want to cut the main volume down a bit to compensate. Below that are four more controls that are present in all four pianos. The pedal noise value sets the volume of the sampled sound of pressing and releasing the piano pedals. The key noise value sets the volume of the sound of pressing and releasing the piano keys. The release samples value sets the volume of the sampled sound of the damper returning to the string when you release a key. The sympathetic resonance value sets the volume of the resonance of non dampened strings. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, there are also 16 presets available that do a good job of covering the large variety of sounds the studio piano can produce.
That's a wee taste of how Logic Pro's studio piano works and how it sounds. But how does it compare to other popular iOS piano instrument apps? In this incredibly scientific test, I'll compare the studio piano to eMagic's Pure Piano and Pure Upright and UVI's Ravenscroft 275 piano. Pure Piano and Ravenscroft have long been the best affordable piano apps on iOS, and with Logic's vintage upright sounding so good, I thought it only fair to compare it specifically to another upright piano sound. Okay, here's how the Studio Grand compares to Pure Piano and Ravenscroft. And here's how the Concert Grand compares to Pure Piano and Ravenscroft. And finally, here's how Logic's vintage upright piano compares to pure upright. Which of those pianos sounded best to you? Give that like button a wee tickle and then let me know down in the comments. Another of Logic Pro for iPad 2's new features, the AI powered stem splitter theoretically allows users to separate out audio files into four distinct parts. But does it actually work? <laughs> 